Okay, this is game number nine. Twelve on the human team is running to orcs, which I think is a pretty tough matchup for humans. Uh, we'll take a look at that. Um, this is what my team looks like. We've got a couple of agi guys. We've got some more skills on our catches now. We've got our block ogre still, who's so close to guard. Um, and we've got an eight, one, and three record. We've spun into Synonymous, so I think it's pretty good. Um, they've got same number of guards as us, but of course they're orcs, so they're stronger than us. They've got a strong Mr. Throw, a, sorry, an agile Mr. Throw. They've got a Mr. Throw who can actually like get places and throw the ball. Very nice. And they've got a really strong record, yeah. Going to be a tough game, um, especially giving them inducements, but at least they haven't got bang to spend to supplement with. No, I think Andy's only had one catch the whole way on that team, Shepard. I've been watching the run and I don't remember him ever having more than one catch here. Unless I'm just forgetting. I think he's had one catch all the way through. I think Synonymous is definitely a good coach. Okay, solid. Solid coach. Okay, we're on defense first. No loners to put on the line this time. It's a bit sad. Uh, how much mighty bow do they have? I actually have no mighty bow. Do we put the ogre on the line? I feel like we might. In that circumstance. Because we are a bit short on players to put on the line. I think it might be Ogre on the line time. Okay, you two obviously need to get back here. And... I think it's probably that. I do have a dirty pass. They could foul the Ogre is the only thing that makes it feel a bit bad. Could take a catcher off for defense. Maybe we should take a catcher off for defense. And then we could do that. I think maybe that is the right thing to do. Keep our ball carrying catcher safe for defense. Let's try that. Let's go with that. And then let's keep these humans ticking on. Did they chat? No. This is a really fun Mr. Throw. I would have chatted them about Mr. Throw, but they haven't chatted, so leave them be. Leave them be. Yeah, no mighty blow. They've gone guard first, which I think is... It's generally the right thing to do, right? To go mostly guard first on orcs. But I would normally... I mean, I, I haven't played much orcs. And when I have played them, I've complained about it a lot. But I would normally want to get one of the bits going with my show. So I'm a bit surprised, but... Yeah, Mr. Throw has to like double the SVP of anyone else on the team. 38. He's got 20. Yeah. Yeah, he's got like 16 more than the next most player. That's fun. Blitz this time. Come on. Little blitz. Just a small blitz. Just a little one. That's not a blitz. Yeah. It's a high kick that they don't get to take because they've already done it with a kickoff return. Now I've got a good feeling of my enemy. How it is to suffer as a bash team. I, I, it is true. Like I, I don't enjoy playing Bash. Whenever I do it, I get grumpy about it. 
Underworld I enjoy a bit more for some reason, I think because they're a bit silly. But when I played Orcs earlier this season, I think I was really grumpy. And I just feel like I'm not that grumpy when I'm playing humans, even when things go badly. Watch me get super grumpy in this game now. <laughs> Really, Jenny? I feel like I've been so grumpy last... I think last season I was... Was I grumpy last season? Was I just sad? I definitely have been grumpy in recent times. But last season I think I was just sad a lot. Like last season I just couldn't seem to get anything to happen at all and I felt sad a lot. I don't know if grumpy is the right word. But I definitely have been grumpy and yes, that is why that emote exists. <laughs> that emote is not there by chance. Hang on, Raven, new recruit. Nice. God, it's so nice doing lines of scrimmage and not having your team die. I think because I played the elves off stream yesterday and then I started with Underworld today, I like fully have this expectation now that just whenever you take a hit on a line of scrimmage, your player dies. So it's been quite fun that that hasn't happened in this game or the last game. It's just my she bows something in her face, I think. It's the best we can do for this turn. Unfortunately, with the kickoff return, they're able to stabilise this drive very quickly, which is not good news for us. Obviously. That's good, though. The dirty player. With two bench, they might foul, so I think we dodge this. And so I guess what we're trying to do here, since they've already stabilized, is at least pick the side for them, right? Like I feel like you don't want if you're them, you don't want to come this way because then you're leaving all of these behind. So we start pushing them towards the side and then hopefully we can squeeze them gradually into tighter spaces. Like, I always have the elf mindset of, like, try to split the team before they get the ball stabilised, but with kickoff return, and quite a nice kick for them, it was really easy for them to not get split up, so that's the next idea. I am looking forward to playing average chicken ball, Jenny. Jenny, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this whole next week. It's going to be a bit stressful because, as I've been saying, like, there's going to be people in the house banging and smashing and doing things, but then Collie and Giraffe coming to visit Brighton and then um, and then um, Bang Average Chicken Bowl at the end of the week like all of it is super exciting all of it is things that I'm yeah just really pumped about Overlead, yep, human run. We're having fun with humans. Ah, in your face, we've got a block ogre. Oh, interesting, going for the extra hit. That's a one dice. Hey, don't punch my block ogre on a one dice, that's rude. Pauper van. That's said, Any other player would have broken armor, so. Okay, this was good, Bison on the Mouse. I was saying I was trying to force them to one side, and they actually did a really good job of rejecting my attempt to force him to one side to be fair so well played some on the mouse let's kill this bludger hmm. that won't kill it unfortunately regrettably not dead a shame. Hmm. Oh well. It's a 
a shame as well. Now I've given them some space here. Two ones in a row, not helpful. It's a shame as well, because if we'd got the knockdown on this one, then we had two dice on this on this um, Black Orc. So it was like uh, a domino effect there of things going wrong. Um, when we didn't knock that down, then we couldn't get two dice here. And then the Ogre didn't get up. And then we lose a Guard Blitzer. So yeah, that was a real domino effect. That was one of those turns where one thing leads to another and they're all bad. I think I have to upper the Guard. We need the Guard. Um, so at least we know that's an upper that works. That's annoying. That's really annoying. Like I say, like it was because one thing went wrong, everything went wrong. And then to get it into a casualty as well feels a bit rough. It is the team with two edgy players, yeah. Could you roll a one now? We just rolled a couple in a row. Especially if you're going to do greedy GFIs to get your three dice here. That was one of those hits that was going to injure anyone. Sixes into sixes. Losing that guard's really bad for defense. I mean, it's bad in general, which is why I upped it. But yeah, we need guard on the pitch to try to fight this, which is not going very well at the moment. Is this a foul? Maybe. Try to reinforce the numbers. It's only a lineman. But could be. Looks like it is, the way they're setting up. Yeah. Looks like it's failed. Okay, not a send-off, sadly, but at least didn't get us. Oh, well, good thing it's a block ogre. But pretty disappointing. Still, this is not going well. Just don't really know how we're going to stop it. We needed something to go our way a bit more than this. Don't know if I can reroll that. It's a bummer because then a catcher gets fouled, but I don't think I can put the reroll into it. Yeah, it's just tough, isn't it, with humans against all? Because they're just sort of bigger and stronger than you. We haven't got the guard in our favour, so... And especially now they're starting to get the removals going their way. I'm not really sure how to fight back. But yeah, um, actually it was, yeah, it was, it was the matchup, wasn't it? It was one of the matchups that was on, um, when I was on Rick Reckless's channel the other day, commentating. Um, it was Rick with Orcs against Fanjo with Humans. And um, really, really fun, close playoff game. But that was what Jimmy was saying. It's just really hard for Humans against Orcs. Question for Miss Feltree, is Lady Yeti Bigfoot was thinking it's coincidence or is Lady Yeti in the last eight of GG Tour? Is Lady Yeti in the last eight of GG Tour? I have no idea who's still in GG Tour other than um, other than um, Yudlegar. I know Yudlegar's in, which is amazing with goblins. Um, I actually have no idea how, how everyone else is doing in the tournament. Oh, amazing. Congratulations, Lady Yeti. What team are you playing? And hey, Cold Retty, how are you? Yeah, seriously, well done. Are they going to foul the ogre here? They are, aren't they? Knock it down here and then foul it. Okay, that's good. So now they foul the catcher. 
between the two, I'd rather lose the catch than the ogre. I'd rather lose neither of them, but between the two, I would rather lose the catch than the ogre, so I'm glad it didn't go down. Really going to need this ref to wake up because this fouling game is going to hurt us a lot if it keeps happening. It's a bit spicy. We might be able to hit this. Not sure if we quite got the movement. Okay, KO. Is it a send off? Nope. One, two, three. I think we can actually hit this. That's only a one dice, even with the guard, but it's something. One, two, three. Over from this side. One, two, three. Damn it, it's like everyone's just a tiny bit too slow. Maybe we just go for the one dice. I don't think we're going to get another shot at it, so. Let's see. Let's see if we make it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you can do it. You actually can do it. Just need to get you out of the way. Good. Just got to go for it, don't we? Damn it. Knew that was going to be the one. Knew it. Shit. Oh, that's so annoying. They left that hit on being greedy for their foul. And now, instead of them being punished, we're going to get fouled out for it. That's really shit. Why is Bud Bowl always like this? Like, your opponent gives you something which they didn't need to give you, and then you get you get killed for it. Like that was that was a mistake. That was an actual like bad decision by our opponent to give us that to take to do that, and it's going to be maximum reward for them for making that mistake. Like that's really annoying. Like a thing that should go badly for them is instead going to win the game for them. I hate bubble moments. So I'm actually a little bit tempted to concede right now because we've used the Apo. But a fourth loss is pretty bad too. That's so annoying. Like that was really bad to let us have that. That was actively bad. Oh well, it's happened. We had to roll like a couple of twos to hit the ball. Four twos to hit the ball. Was that was it. And I guess a couple more with the dodges, but they had the dodge skill. And instead nonsense happened. For two dice on the ball as well. At least that isn't dead, but it is an MNG. Oh, it's so annoying.
We're not fouling this turn at least. Well, it's not dead, but yeah, more high rolling. I'm really tempted to concede this. Just feels like it can't end well for us from here. Finally, something good happened. Yeah, I'm just sort of defiantly thinking maybe there's still a way I can not lose this bubble on that. I mean, we're only down one actual casualty, so if we don't suffer any more casualties in the second half, we get our KOs back, we will still have 11. But I don't know, it's a tough one. It's just like they don't take a single turn off from powering us either. Like, we've had such rotten dice to let them get in this position, and then. Like, they could have one bad die somewhere. It doesn't seem to be happening. I don't want to be a dice scrambler. I said this already. No more dice scrambling. We just play what's happening. Either we'll have a chance or we won't. The problem is the record also isn't that great, so a fourth loss does hurt us quite a lot. That's the other thing with the concede. But it's looking really tough. It's looking really, really tough. It's just, yeah, it's just really annoying when you have like such a good chance on the ball just given to you. Like it was, it wasn't like a bit of a chance on the ball. It was like literally four twos for two dice on the ball. That was all it was. And it was even going to be, and it wasn't my spell, but still, yeah, four dice for two dice, four twos for two dice on the ball. gone we move on we move on as i say at the moment if all these chaos come back we might still be able to to score on offense so let's hope for that and maybe our opponent will make another mistake you never know Just one time not knocking them down, like one time, would really help us a lot. This has got to be the one nice now because that was a knockdown. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Good. Their apothecary's gone as well, so that's gone. Um, I think it's got to be this next. Oh, that's tackle. Can't reroll it. 
want to reroll it, but can't. I don't know. Maybe I oh, maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe I had to reroll it because now it's just too easy, isn't it? Whereas at least if we'd got that, we would have had this up, would have hit this in front. Now we can't really hit this. Nice to get rid of a black orc anyway. It was one of the ones without block, but still. Wait, Lady Yeti, you've got Nurgle through? I'm only just catching up on some of the things that were said. That's amazing. Quarterfinals of J-Love against Purple Chest. That'll be really fun, because that's Wood Elves against Dwarves as well, I think. Yudlagar against Kodian. Oh, I think I heard Andy saying Kodian's playing Amazons. Maria against Lola. Oh, I did catch the end of Lola's as well, so that's Kimri against something. And it's a Bigfoot against Iron Master. And someone's got vampires in there as well. That's super interesting. What an interesting set of games. That's really, probably like a really good reflection on the rule set that um, Andy went with this time, if there's that many um, different races qualifying. Not qualifying, I mean getting through to the later rounds. That means they've, they've chosen well. I think it was Lola that beat Andy in round one. Amazing. Yeah, good for them. Yeah, this is why maybe we had to do the reroll on that last dodge last turn, because we now literally aren't in range at the ball. Whereas before we might have had some chance. Dark Elves v Dwarves, Goblins v Amazons, Kemri v Lizards, Nurgle v Amazons. Oh, wow, that is a fun set. Is JLF playing Dark Elves and not Wood Elves? I thought they were doing what else for some reason, but um, I'm probably wrong. Another Kaz, please. Jeff has Dark Elves. Oh, cool. Interesting. That's, yeah, it's really fun. So quarterfinals are eight different races. It's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So we're hoping for a um, Goblin versus Vampires final. That's what it looks like to me. Opponent hasn't been chatting, have they? No. Okay, that's a good start on the KO rolls. That takes us back to 10. Still really need this guard back for the second half. We can 110. It's not an easy 110, but it's possible. A nightmare for you. Wait, what? what is? Um, goblins. What's a nightmare for you with Nurgle? Oh, the goblins, <laughs> if, you, if you played Yid. Well, look, goblins under Yidlagar's control are a nightmare for anyone. It was it was really interesting watching your game that the bits I saw of it against the Dark Elves you had like you just you do keep finding like the sort of there was one point where you came up with a chain push that I was like, Oh flipping heck, like that's just not a line I would have seen at all. Like you do really see the lines and find them, which I think is like a thing you need to be good at with goblins to do well with them because they're such a like a a harder team to do well. It's really fun watching you play. Really, really fun.
If anyone doesn't follow Yudlegar already, I don't know if they're streaming their own games. Other people will be streaming them for sure, but do go give Yudlegar a follow. The best goblin coach who streams regularly at the moment, for sure. The only other person who I've thought is in a similar level of goblin goodness is Keandre, and I haven't seen them stream for a while. Okay, this is going to be pretty tough. Um, they've definitely um, made it tough with this setup. Don't even know if it's possible. Or if we should set up for a quick snap instead. Set up for a quick snap, right? Quick snap, you could get to here. And we'd hit you down here, step you in here. I think that might be the way. I don't think we're doing it without one. Riot would be nice. Riot would be very nice. Nope. Get wrecked, please. Nope. Okay. Better than nothing. And can we? Okay, but we don't need to do that. GFI. Let's just hit this one instead. Just hit this one instead. Random Kaz for the level for Shirato? Could be. No. Could have been, but wasn't. She think I'd rather get it on you, so. Okay. All three games, the ones that didn't go to plan, we managed to pull off the crazy plays when you did, playing now but not on stream. Oh wow, has it started? I th someone will be streaming if it has started, right? If the um, day's play has started. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. So we're still on 10, unfortunately. So it's going to be tough. I think we're definitely playing for a draw if we can get it. Um, I don't think we're even going to consider trying to play for a win. Um, I think a draw is our best outcome, unfortunately, given the game state. Um, with being a player down and playing against Orcs, who are such a tough team to, to fight against, I think that's, that's what we aim for. Oh, you're playing CCL? Okay. I hope it motivates coaches to play bubble and entertains more people. Hopefully future bubble coaches. Yeah, definitely. It's, it seems like it's been a really fun tournament. Like I was really happy to be out yesterday and seeing Giraffe and doing fun stuff, but I was a bit sad to not be able to play in it and um, to, um, to not get to be part of it because it did look really fun. Um, Hopefully I'll make the next one. It seems like they're going to be a, a regular thing at the moment, which is really nice. It's really fun to have that for the community. Regular tournaments, cash prizes. Yeah, I think it's really exciting. Oh, we're down to one guard. And we apoed a guard as well. We have not, not been lucky on that, have we? I'm going to pick 
you here. And you here for now, because I don't want to leave your side too open. Oh, that's one of theirs. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, so we're 10 on 10. That's really nice. Free black orc removal is definitely good news. Could we get another removal, please? Yes, we can. Nice punching here by Kalon. Oh, get out of here, dirty player. Now I can have three dice with the troll. Nope, no, I can't. <laughs> I thought I was going to have a three dice with the troll. The troll was like not playing. So, how about we do this instead? Oh man, that would have been nice. When I saw the animation start, I thought, oh boy, if we could get rid of another one. Um, I'll wrestle that down there. And drop you in front here. Put you there. You part way back, I think. Hmm. Not ideal, but at least they're orcs and they're slow. Okay, so we are up one now on numbers, which is nice, although they're about to hit this catcher. That's good. Just ask, you're right, I need to ask more. The more I ask, the more I get. You're not wrong. Um, enjoy the weekend with Giraffe. Next weekend is with Giraffe. Next weekend is with everybody at Dave Obo. This weekend it was just just, uh, just the, the one day. But the week coming up, we're having a midweek weekend. I saw Collie described it as a girl's weekend and I was like, well, it's kind of more of a Wednesday, Thursday, but... <laughs> It's a midweek weekend. The best kind. See, like, blitzing there and then looking to do a four plus dodge seems rowdy. You could have just blitzed here. If you wanted to do that. But you know, Lady Yeti, you did say that. And I, d I have asked a couple of times for blitzes and the game has not given them to me, which is quite rude. Like the game could have just given me blitzes and then everything would be better. Okay, so there's no pressure on the ball, which is really good for us, obviously. Um, is the ogre going to want to play this time? Is, that's very nice. So let's take this hit. Very nice. And then plop you in here and mighty boat this one in the face. Oh, that's a shame. Bring that in there and that in there. Push you up, I think. And try this pick up again. Okay, fourth time lucky. Good thing we have sure hands. We haven't got a lot of movement on this side now. This good bit's through here and get like there. So I think like here or somewhere is probably pretty fine. Because Mr. Throw isn't fast enough to come around. Yeah. Cool. That's all right. It's okay. You'll make it, Tree. I have faith. 
I hope so. This is definitely looking better than it was late in the first half when we were down players, like being up players. The, the, rock, is, the rock was very lucky. The rock helped us a lot here. Um, but it still feels like tough sledding without the guard pieces, like being down two guard against a team that's stronger than us. Um, yeah, there's still orcs. We still, we still get out bashed in this situation once everything gets based up. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, going for the catcher. That's nice. It's why everyone loves The Rock. <laughs> the Rock, famously the most popular of all the uh, kickoff events. You know, one dice is here. I haven't even got blocks, so I hope this fails. Okay, push is fine. And for, yeah, famously, everyone loves the rock. No one gets mad about the rock. Um, so that's a nice two dice which we'll take and push you here I think we follow oh that's so nice oh that's the blodger with guard gone get wrecked uh, all right Another pile there is also very nice. Might have a chance to punch Mr. Throw here in a second. Um, need to be a little bit careful. can get there though, can't it? Yeah, no, we've got to go. We've got to go around. It just feels a bit hairy. Good. I think I'm going to have to do this dodge. We'll do this first. Good. Okay. Do this first, but no, I, I think this is next. Really good, really, really good. That that is very helpful. As is that. Okay. This is good. We've knocked over a lot of orcs. We've knocked out some orcs. Things are going. Things are going okay. This is a good drive. I like the way this is trending. I like that we've got some space in front of us. We've got not Mr. Throw, but Mr. Slow up here. See what I did there, Mr. Throw, Mr. Slow. Bet no one's made that joke before. Um, yeah, we've been very lucky on the removals, especially when you throw in the rock, like the rock really was really big to start this off, getting rid of one of those strength four pieces. So we've got out two black orcs and a guard blodger and the dirty player. Put some perms on them as well. Pretty rough for Sinona Mouse. Okay, it's a power and freezing star. 
Oh, that is a dead freezing star. Oh well. Thanks for your service, freezing star. Sorry. Sorry we didn't look after you better. Can't protect everyone. Hey, it's nothing. How are you? Lady Yeti, you don't stream, do you? If you do stream and I've just been missing you streaming, please do let me know and I'll give you a shout out and and definitely um, drop you a follow as well. That's nice that that failed. So all of them are still tied up on the ogre. Thinking about the rowdy six plus orc dodging. Decided against it. Okay. I think we want to mighty blow Mr. Throw this turn. But first, let's move this ball. Do not throw a pass accidentally. Yeah, first let's move this ball forward. Hmm. That's a shame. Is it worth a reroll of shame? Probably not. Even though the greedy part of me wants to. Okay. Um. I think we actually don't follow. Now, if you want to get two dice on the ogre, you've got to bring someone else in. I think that was a mistake, actually. I think I should have cut that corner and I could have saved that GFI. But it worked out. Worked out okay. Turning me on. So we've still got a lot of time to stall if we want to get this to the end. So we're a long way from being across the line still here. I owe you apologies, nothing. I first read your nickname as Snotling. <laughs> what do you mean? That's what it says. Forgotten Reaper, you're not Freezing Star and you've changed username, are you? I'm only saying that because you said these things happen. And I don't know if that was you saying, oh, it's fine, or if you're just saying that on behalf of Freezing Star. <laughs> In any case, hi. Okay, it's getting a little bit worse here, but at least that wasn't a removal. Man, we got rid of two black orcs and it still feels like, ugh, there are all these black orcs running around being string for. <laughs> black orcs are a pain, hey? Black orcs are a pain. The problem we've got here as well is if we give them two turns and they've got an edge for Mr. Throw, the two turns seems a bit scary likely, doesn't it? So we really do need to try to stall if we possibly can. That's good. Oh, I wasn't sure they'd reroll that, but they did. Does mean they get two on the ogre now. Okay. That's obviously bad. So is that. At least they're not hurt. Yeah, this is looking hard now, honestly. Like, this is looking hard. I don't know how we're going to stall this. We're going to try. We've got to come to the middle, for sure. Maybe even come past the middle.
you with you and then hit you here. Although the problem is doing that moves that first. This maybe was a mistake. This maybe was a mistake. We've made it now. So let's try this. Can't take the boat down there because it's a ball carrier, so I have to reroll it. That's still a one dice. What are you doing, Tree? This is so bad. Oh well, we've done things very badly. We've been an idiot. That would still be a one dice. Yep. Yep, we've made a mess of this. I think we lose the ball here now. I think we lose the ball here now. Is this just two dice? One, two, three, four, five, six, we've got two GFIs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a little tricky for them to get around for the two dice. Ugh, that was so bad. So avoidably bad. Bad turn. On the other hand, if this is four two pluses to hit the ball and they make them all after we didn't in the first half, I'm going to be salty about it, just so everyone's prepared for the salt. Mm. It was a catcher, unfortunately, Forgotten Reaper. I wish it was a line member, no, it was a catcher. But still, your reasoning is sound. Things die on a human team. Oh dear, yeah, no, I just run up and hit the ball. Oh, that was such a bad turn. Should have just dodged both the edge full ones. That would have been the right thing to do. Can't quite hit it with tackle, luckily. Doesn't get us, they might push us into the end zone. Don't push us into the end zone. Interesting. I thought they might just push us in and say, well, we can score back in three turns. Okay. Maybe it's not done yet. We'll see. It's a very difficult time coming up, but there's at least some options. Fail this. Please fail this. Oh, thank God. That would have made things a lot harder. So that's very good. Okay, so, so, I bring you here. Thank God. off from here because it's going to be easier to try to keep moving the ball if it's on edge four. That's good. Um, might as well take this two dice. I don't know where to dodge this one, I just stand it up. I think at 
least standing it up makes you do something, doesn't it? Okay. Don't actually know why I based this. This could have been not based. I think I had one thought in my head and then changed my thought halfway through. Like, it's not totally unhelpful. It stops you from being free to move, but I think it would have been better to not have it based. Probably. Okay, gets down, Matt, the ice cream man. No arm break, at least. Gosh, this has been a yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying to get the draw. It's nothing. I'm trying to. Whether or not I can, we'll see. But yeah, I think after how badly the first half went, pushing for the draw was the best shot we had. Um, so that's what we're trying to do. I think this stall is going to be pretty tricky. But let's just see where things are when the dice are done. Good. What would a stall look like? A stall would look like. <laughs> it wouldn't look good, would it? Um, dodge here, dodge there, hit this one, get behind here, but there's not rear screen there. Dodge this to here, risk the one in nine, hit that, dodge back here. The problem is like they've got an edge four kickoff return thrower, so I just don't feel like there's the two turns, that like they just feel like they'll score. So I feel like maybe we have to take the risky line but it is risky. That's good. Okay, get you into the store square. I think you just get up. I'm going to need to dodge you into there. I can maybe get you around. This has a built-in reroll. So should I do that first? No, but this is just more important. It just is. Oh, thank God. Okay, that's pretty huge. Um, see how this looks. See if we make the dodge. We do. So then we can push for the first GFI. Nice. So now we've got a screen all the way up here. Um, there's no way through this screen for free. Like you've got to dodge. Even if you knock that over, you've got to dodge here. So maybe it's not even worth doing that. Nice. Doesn't do much, but can't hurt. <laughs> Bad ball not score, just score. <laughs> Probably should have done, but I didn't. So let's see if we can punch it in next turn. Oh. 
And we pushed our luck. So we'll see if we're punished for it. That's amazing. Obviously, I have to reroll that, I think, now. No, okay. Saving that in case they get a riot or something and can score a two turn. I guess. A tree should be a pro if she has no to steal. We definitely held our nerve that turn. I don't know if it was a smart thing to do, but we did. Mm -mm. We did hold our nerve. Yeah. I think the thing is you've got to weigh up, like, and this is hard to do because I'm not saying I got the maths right, but, like, it is all, like, trying to do the maths in your head. And, like, what was more likely making dodges that succeed, that succeed eight out of nine times. Now, there were two of them, not just one, that were really important. But if we make those two dodges, then we have a good sore position. Or is it more likely that we can stop the two-turn? And I felt like the dodges were more likely. Whether or not I was right, I don't know. I say as my voice goes super gravelly. Right. But now, there's not even anything to do. Like, we can just literally walk in, which is pretty amazing. Um, are we taking a hit anywhere? I'd really like to hit this one with the Mighty Bird, just in case they get a riot, but um, I can't get the guard there for free. Could try to hit this one on a two guys, I guess. Because we know quad skulls don't happen. Fine. And we even get a level on Shirato, which is nice. Stall again. <laughs> Stall again. I've never seen them, right? Morbird's never seen a quad skulls. They're not a thing. Hey, by the way, Morbird, how are you? Not sure who's going on the line here. I think, unfortunately, it might be the Blodge Catcher. Because, yeah. Don't want to put the ogre up there when there's no apothecary. Passes Orcus Movement 6. 1, 2. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, let's push forward by one square, just so we're slightly better positioned in case we're right. I really hope not. <laughs> I really hope not, Bad Bonad. If you look out knows their stuff, I would listen. <laughs> I mean, in general, yes. I support listening to Yudlagar. But, um, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Mega rage. Dimmy G. How are you, Dimmy? Dimmy, how excited are you? Uh, for next weekend and um, bang average chicken bowl and playing bud bowl in person. I'm so excited. I think it's going to be really fun. What team are you bringing? Oh, you're bringing undead, aren't you? Try hard playing undead. Not like us. Underdogs playing wood elves. Hey, HDK. And hey, everyone from Dimmy's stream. Hope you had a lovely time over there. Hope Dimmy had a nice stream. Don't think any of my mods are around. So, shout out Dimmy G. Taking Undead is the only team I have painted. Well, that's also a pretty good reason to bring 
the team. No riot, thank God. So unless they've got a very cunning orc one turn up their sleeves, we've got the draw here. Which, considering I was thinking of conceding, maybe I was being dramatic. But considering I was thinking of conceding, I'm pretty happy that we've got a draw. Wubba, wubba, lubba, dub, dub. What is real tree and chat? Um, what's... Are they going for the one turn? Are they still going for the one turn here? Good on them if they're trying it. Like, I wouldn't even know how to try to do an orc one turn, especially with 10 players. <laughs> if they manage it, I say hats off. Hey, Rogue Gangster. Yeah, things are all right. I'm playing Budville on a Sunday after a mad week. Things can't be bad, hey? And we've had mixed results today. This will be our second draw. We've had one win and one loss. So it's been a bit of a mixed stream, but we've had fun. We've had a win and a draw on the humans and a loss and a draw on the underworld. Darth Otter, it's not the last stream for a while. Everyone needs to work on their reading, okay? What that says in the title is last morning stream for a while. There will be evening streams instead, but because there's going to be work going on at the house, at the house, at the flat, um, where I live, um, I, um, I won't be able to stream during the day. So I'll just have to do some evening streams. Okay, losing some fan factor is nice. MVP on Thedius is nice. So some good ending stuff to the game there. Get wrecked, Orcs. MVP on your dirty player. That was mean. I don't mean to be mean to not a mouse who doesn't deserve me to be mean. I'm just glad because dirty players was trying to stand in us all game until we punched him in the face. Oh my God. Shirato, what have you done? I was going to take guard. Do we take an agility five human? I think we have to take an agility five human, right? But it seems so bloaty. Yud says skippity skippity. Lady Yeti, I feel like he's saying don't skip with those emotes. We've just been saying the team's too bloaty. But on the other hand, like, Edge 5 is so good. <sighs> I'm, I think I've just got to take it. I think, like, there's, there's certain decisions where it's like, I can't even, like, overthink whether this is right or wrong. I just think, like, I'll be so sad if I passed off an Agility 5 human that, like, I've just got to take it. I just do. Whether it's right or wrong, I think I've just got to take it. Yeah, it's already got dodge. Shirato, what an absolute champ. A human blitzer with edge five and dodge. <laughs> what is this team? This is not a human team. Well, we've got barely any guard, but we've got elves. And then get a double game leap. Well, exactly. So I think we're buying a new catcher now because we lost one last game. Um, so let's go to the list. Oh my goodness. You'll think I'm faking this, guys. But you will not guess who is the next person on our position on the list. This genuinely, I feel like it looks like it's rigged. It's Dimmy. Is Dimmy in chat or has Dimmy gone? Has Dimmy already moved on? We need to pick a Dimmy head. Amish Dimmy. Suave European merchant Dimmy. 
wise old Dimmy. Oh, I think this this looks like Dimmy, doesn't it? With the skull cap and the moustache. <laughs> well, it's just funny because Dimmy just raided in. Like the Dimmy's then immediately like the one who comes up. And it's not actually rigged. I always just thought it was funny that that's how it happened. Anyway, that was game number um, 13 on the humans. If you're watching on uh, YouTube and you're enjoying the content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.